Hi Libras, jumping straight in, doing love readings. I'll be doing my generals over the weekend, uh, but I did promise I'll do love readings. Um, so I'm going to be doing singles first, a uh, spread for the single Libras and a spread for the Libras that are in union. If love life is totally hunky-dory, these readings are definitely not for you. Um, well, I don't know what's coming out, but I'm guessing they're not. Why would you be watching a love reading if everything were hunky-dory? Um, so always check your sun, moon, rising and Venus. If you don't know that, you can go on Google, go on Astro Sofa, I think it is, and... Uh, put your details in there and it'll tell you what you are. Venus is very substantial when it comes to love readings. Uh, so always check your sun, moon, rising on Venus, but Venus especially in love. So I'm going to jump straight in for my Libra singles. Libra singles, what's going on? Gemini just got this, I think. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So if we're thinking romance, you're single... You need to decide exactly what type of relationship you want. Sorry about the light flare. Um, yeah, what were I saying then? I've gone blank again. I did this in Gemini 1. I wrote air signs, feeling blank at me now. What? Um, yeah, clearly decide what you want. What do you want in life? What do you want in a partner? So what's challenging this for my single Libras? What's challenging? Ooh, sorry, it's... Uh... Well, the challenge could be that one popped out anyway. Let your friends out. You ask for and accept support from others. Uh, the challenge could be you could have friends interfering or trying to set you up with people that you're not really interested in. Um, or the challenge could be to accept. Ask for and accept the support. Could be your guards. Could be spirit. That you need to ask them for the guidance in what you need to do. We've got a flyer. Why is it coming around? Now... Romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. You deserve romance. You want some romance. That's what you're trying to bring in. Some romantic feelings. You want some love. My Libra singles. My Libra singles recent past. My Libra singles. Libra singles. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Ooh, are we already texting? Are we already texting someone? And that's why you need to decide, is it this person or is it not? Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Do you want a connection with this person or are you are you the one who's in and out uh, with this energy? Are you feeling it? Are you not sure, you know? Because I feel like there could be someone you're already speaking to. Too many. The challenge could be that you're keeping it a secret from your friends. You don't want people thinking, uh, you don't want people getting involved. At present, you deserve love, you are lovable. I feel like you're on the hunt though, <laughs> with the bow and arrow there. It's like we're off on the hunt. So you could be hunting, you could be talking to numerous people and uh, juggling your options. Near future, pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you. Yeah, the. There could be options. You could have options on your plate here. Let your friends help you. I would say don't be too quick to dismiss friends' opinions. And I'm not one who promotes other people's opinions. But if you are talking to a couple of people and certain people are like, whoa, wait a minute, that one's known for this or that, you know, there could be a few alarm bells going off with friends. And you could be stubborn. I'm a bit stubborn. I'm a Gemini. You could be stubborn thinking, no, I can change this person. No, he won't do that to me. Pay there is some red flags going on. There's definitely some red flags going on. Your power in this situation. <laughs> Sorry. Children, your love life is being affected by children. So you, I could be talking single mums or single dads. You know, you might not have a lot of time to go out, especially on dates and things like that. So you might be on dating sites. Um messaging text messages that type of thing so you don't actually really get to know that person because anyone can be who they want in words in text message and things like that so your power in, but your it's your power in the situation uh your love life is being affected by children maybe that being stuck in with kids is actually keeping you away from arms length here um what's the outside influence New love, 
a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. I do feel like you've got options here. Um, I feel like I've got one that's a bit more exciting than other, but with the pay attention to the red flags, it could be a bit... I kind of want to say if it feels too good to be true, then it, it most un probably is. I do feel like you're getting to know people via messages, uh, hopes or fears, retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Um, I feel it's time to disconnect from the internet. <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like, yeah, I do. Your outcome is let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So don't be rushing in. Don't be in a rush to uh, jump in. You know, kind of weigh it up. Because I do feel like you're talking to a couple of people, but we've got some red flags, so let's have a look. So very soon. So you clearly decide what you want before jumping in. Let your friends help you. Yeah, three of pentacles. Work together as a team, but I also feel like they could definitely be a choice of two. Um, yeah, because we've got options. The seven of cups. We've got the options. And then we've got the justice, which is you, Libra. So Libra has got options. My single Libras have got options. So the romantic feelings are just coming around now. The Eight of Swords, I feel like you've been, well, you are the Swords, you are Libra, you're an air sign. But it's like feeling stuck and trapped. And especially if you are, like like I was saying, the single parent, you feel like you could be confined in the home and, you know, you're not getting out and socialising enough and things like that. So you're feeling a bit stuck. How am I going to meet someone? Yeah, I'm talking to a few people, but where's it going to go? That type of energy, getting to know each other. So we've got the Chariot and then we've got, the lovers so we've got lovers gemini but then but we are talking about relationships so it could be a love life and chariot yeah you're ready to move on you're ready to meet new people you know to venture off have a leap take a leap of faith in love that's what i'm seeing you want a leap of faith in love you deserve love as your present moment this is where i feel like you're on the hunt <laughs> you deserve love so we've got temperance, so we could be taught we've got Sagittarius now, we've got Libra, we've got Sagittarius, uh, and we've got Gemini. Um, but it's all about bringing balance in as well. So it's like you deserve love. You feel like it's time now that you can go out with the temperance card and restore balance to your love life. It's like you're ready for that rainbow. You want that balance. But if you look at it, she's balancing between two cups. It's almost as if she's juggling the water. We've got the Six of Cups, which is issues regarding children again, or it could be a soulmate um, connection as well. Um, now I'm wondering if... If you've got children, I'm wondering if the parent, the other parent, is having an impact on this reading. Like, do you still have feelings for the parent of your children? For the ex-partner. Maybe they've been coming back in. Uh, especially with issues regarding children. Or it's the fact that you're feeling a little bit trapped because you've got children. Like you can't see it going any further. Pay attention to the red flags. The four of pentacles in reverse. So it's about letting go of things that are red flags. That You know, seeing it, ding, ding, alarm bells. Yeah, we'll get rid of that one. Yeah, so we've got Ace of Wands and we've got the Death card. So we've got the Ace of Wands, excitement and things like that. And then we've got the Death card. I do feel like someone someone could be coming in, like, sparking up this excitement in you and then no to show for it. You know, it's either that or... The, I'm, I'm just going to say it. In the other day, I called this my dick pic. <laughs> um, so it could be someone coming in for that and as soon as they realise they ain't going to get it as easily, it just dwindles out or you dwindle it out because you realize that that's what they're after that could be the red uh the red the alarm bells type of thing three of wands yeah being patient and stuff but it be, you could be getting a bit bored of being patient now waiting for your ships to come in um i do think that you're gonna have a choice too we've got the tower and the ten of cups I do feel like there's an ex-partner having an effect on your reading. Someone that, like a divorce uh, or, or an ex that you live together as a married couple. Um, you just want to, you want fulfilment now. That's in your near future. We've got emotional fulfilment after the tower. It's clarifying the tower. 
you've got options this could be an x the seven of pentacles seeds are planted you just need again it's patience it's telling you to be patient all the time wow the ten of swords in reverse you've still got healing to do you still got healing to do from a past connection and especially if there's children involved uh this this healing to do it's time for the swords to fall out it's time for you to heal and move on to what nana pentacles single independent person you know she's got shit together she people are attracted to her because she's got shit together you know it's you're healing you're finding you you you're looking very attractive you're looking very attractive and i feel like you're going to pull two different types of people in we're going to someone who really wants to get to know you and someone who wants to bed you basically six of pentacles so i'm definitely picking dad energy up i'm picking like children's dad or parent energy up and things like that uh it could be your ex-partner you know they could have left or you could have left them and they're starting to think like way up they're looking uh a lot better these days you know but then again the six of pentacles is all about equal give and take so player energy gone you're gonna you the alarm bells are gonna show you that one anyway so the children being your power in this relationship the children would keep you connected though with your ex uh the eight of pentacles you know working on yourself working on building things up she's polishing her own pentacles there i call it the blue peter badge card you know learning a lesson you you know you've gone through it but it's like working on yourself to better yourself maybe it's for your children the new love as the outside influence so we've got the ace of swords so there's definitely something true coming in a new person stirred your romantic feelings you seeing getting truth and clarity i do feel like you're going to be getting truth about a, a certain connection i do feel it's like the player energy like wait up a minute something's not right here ace of swords three of cups yeah, the player and the player energy could have a couple on go. You'll know you're you're the air sign. You'll know. Don't be falling for none of that. That's definitely red flags. So it's time to disconnect from the world. Why is it time to disconnect from the world? Strength to regain your strength. I feel like your love should be going on you you and your family, you and your kids. Uh, five of pentacles yeah there's definitely people that you need to block online dating sites text messages whatever the, that type of communication because i kept getting disconnect from the internet uh yeah there's definitely people that you need to block on there i'm not saying disconnect totally pull the plug there there is a good person here but i definitely feel like there's a player energy it might just they might just message you when they want to boot a call that type of thing um let go of control issues as your outcome let this situation unfold naturally king of pentacles so we've got earth now we've got someone who's stable secure safe um i like the king of earth six of swords yeah ready to move on from stormy waters to smoother waters there's definitely a stable person that wants to come into your life could be from the past might not be but your wishes are going to be granted very soon you just need to not fall for this uh player crap we've got the nine of cups your wishes are going to be granted this king of pentacles wants to make your wishes come true the king, queen of swords but what does the Queen of Swords do? Cuts out anything that no longer serves her. So if that's an ex or if that's someone who's been using you like a booty call, just you're just using you. Basically, when they get bored or whatever, it's like, bye-bye. <laughs> Cut you out because I'm having some of him or her, whichever. I want this stability. Which is granted. Someone who's going to spoil you, that's what I'm seeing there. It's definitely equal give and take. The world. New beginnings. Brand new beginnings. It could be new beginnings with a old person. Do you know what I mean? But I'm definitely picking up a player energy that's uh, trying to get the hooks into you. So uh, I hope that resonates. So I'm going to jump straight into my Libra couples. Libra couples. God, I've got eating on and it's roasting now. Libra couple situation for my Libra and couple romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring so yes you definitely feel uh for this person <clears throat> my throat chakra has just gone really tight <coughs> since I started Libra couples <coughs> could be a new relationship or um uh, you know where you haven't fully expressed 
how you feel about this person. God, I feel like I'm choking. So what's the challenge? A challenge for my Libra couples. Give your relationship a chance, work on this partnership. So yeah, you, you are still very much feeling the love for this person. The challenge though is giving this relationship a chance. Maybe you've been on a bit of a roller coaster with this relationship. So the challenge is is the actual relationship, keeping it going and stuff. Definitely need to speak truth. My throat feels like it's closing up. <clears throat> There's definitely a need to um, vocalise your issues here. Why's it coming around now for my Libra couples? Why's this coming around for my Libra couples? Flirt, extend your light-hearted energies to each other. I, I think you need to, yeah, light everything. You could have been going through quite a lot um, within the relationship or outside factors of the relationship. It's had some kind of effect on the relationship. Um, I feel like there's got to be a bit more fun, light-heartedness, you know, light-hearted light energy. Go and have some fun with your partner. Um, speak your truth, but in a light-hearted way. There could have been a lot of... Um, arguments or silent treatment you know like <coughs> not wanting to rock the boat that's what i just got in my head uh recent past for yourself it's time to take back control of your life i don't know why i just got straight away as soon as i looked at that it was like one of you's had um issues in your career or something like or finances um and i don't know why i got that with that free yourself it's time to take control back of your life it it could have been a work aspect. So one of you could have been working too much or, uh, you know, being made redundant or something. So, and, it, and it's had an impact on the relationship, like the stress from that. But you've done that. You've been freed from that. Yeah, because at present, we need to get back the playfulness now uh, to recapture this romance. Allow your inner, inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So my Libra couples, it's time to come back from this. I feel like you've freed yourself from this now. Uh yeah, it's like you were feeling stuck and I'm definitely feeling financially stuck financially or something to do with career or work uh, and it was causing stress and it's had an impact on the relationship. Where's that gone? Near future chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yeah, you're not getting rid of each other. <laughs> you're stuck. Um, so, yeah, so you've got the chemistry. I feel like it's just like past stress. You're powering this situation. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So even spirit are guiding you through this. Sorry, one second. Dog running around upstairs. Um, yeah, make the effort. So there's an effort that needs to be made. Bring it back. Bring the fun back. That's definitely what I'm feeling. Give this relationship a chance. Be a bit light-hearted. Nurse, book a secret meal or, you know, do something like out of the blue. Um, but yeah, you are being guided to take steps to, and to make the effort within this connection, or it could be, yeah, well, that is your power. So it is you. Yeah. Your power is to do that. Cause there is chemistry here. Bring back that magnetism. Two minutes. Okay. It's had influences. Outside influences, pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you. So that's the outside influences, red flags. I'm going to have to clarify that. Because your power is to, it's to accept the gap. What's influencing on the outside is the signs are cautioning you. Why are we cautioning? Or are you being too cautious? Is it the finances? Why Are you being too cautious with your finances or is there a need to be? These kids do my head in when it gets to this time of day. Pops off here, we've got two. Yeah, say finances and career. I've been feeling that all the way through since I've picked the free, uh, free yourself. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So you might feel like you can't. You can't get away with your partner or you can't afford to do that. I, I feel like you need to make just little effort. Uh, you know, the little things mean the most anyway, because then we've got reconciliation over the top of that. Someone from your past is returning into your life. I feel like this is your partner, though. 
the partner that you you with now you you know it's like they could have been working away or you know their career could have took them away or something like that someone could have been made redundant or changed jobs now you've got more time but less money that type of thing um but it's the little things not the big things don't let the finances ruin this because i love this it's like going back to feeling like a teenager with your partner so you could have been together for quite a while actually your outcome yeah wedding so it could actually be saving up for a wedding <laughs> you know what i mean so that's where the finances are stuck or you're already married this situation involves a marriage you could be living together as a married couple you know but it's look how she's looking at him you know she totally adores him she adores him he could be under a lot of stress vice versa uh, do you know what i mean this could be the female that could be the male you can see how much stress someone's under financially or the couple is under financial stress um or it has been you know i, I do feel like it has been like you freed yourself from that so give your relationship a chance work on this partnership you could be going into business together see the nine of pentacles self-employment card independence card one of you could be self-employed and getting a bit stressed out with it all but it could definitely be about money uh, give me one more on that yeah the full so there's a brand new fresh start that's been started someone's being guarded the challenge is to take that guidance if you or your partner's thinking about going self-employed i won't, would not be worrying about it not with them two i like it so flirt extend your light-hearted energies to one another the nine of swords yeah because you it, it's the libra the air signs trapped in your own mind overthinking worrying and stuff i do think that i've picked the libra couple here that's um worried about finances a little bit yeah because they've got the ace pentacles don't be worrying the ace pentacles it's coming the financial stability is coming get out of your head it's there so freeing yourself or it's because it's already come back it's already there now because that's why it's coming right now uh, recent past free self what we're feeling ourselves from the heartache feeling lost feeling hurt feeling worried all the negative aspects you're freeing yourself from that so the playfulness to recapture romance have you heard that my dog's telling me it's tea time <laughs> to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of sun to shine fun to shine ace of swords you so you, you could be dealing with an earth sign as well we've got two aces but um Ace of Swords, I definitely feel like there's a need to open the throat chakra and speak truth, gain clarity over the situation. But to be you, to to recapture, go and do what you're meant to do. You're the air sign. Have some fun. Queen of Swords, Libra. Libra energy. Could be dealing with another air sign. See, make your own wishes granted. They're well nice. Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords and Nine of Cups. Making your own wishes granted. To recapture the romance, allow your inner, inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. You know, be you. Own your swords. Go and make your wishes come true. Uh, you know, it can be, and it don't have to cost money. So the chemistry, there's a magnetic attraction here. Why are my cards all flipping? Chemistry. Chemistry. Chem Karma. Karma, soulmates. Karma, that's why you can't get away from your partner there's a magnetic attraction here that keeps pulling you in you know you know that they're a good person maybe they've had a dip could be mental health it could be finances it could be both that could be what could have caused the um the imbalance mentally or whatever that, that type of energy that's what i'm feeling i feel like don't give up on them don't give up on them this this cycle's coming to a close things are getting better i like this for a <laughs>